Hello. Hello, hello. And how's everybody doing? <clears throat> I am Alfonso McGriff III, and this is Alfonso Speaks. And I have some thoughts I would like to share tonight about conflict. Recently in the city that I live in, there was a shooting at a nightclub and five people were shot. One person died. And this is not an uncommon occurrence <clears throat> because a lot of times Conflict is born out of arguments. These tragic results are born out of, out, out of arguments. And so tonight I just want to talk about conflict. And um, this is something that I have decided to focus on and even to some degree what I call kind of specialize in. I have a, a program that I, I like to share as it relates to conflict and confrontation. I think that um, my uh, program can help people and so, I want to thank you for tuning in. You could be doing any number of other things. You chose to hang out with me tonight. Um, <laughs> it's a rough subject to talk about because it happens every day. People get in arguments. Arguments lead to out-of-control emotions. Out-of-control emotions lead to us doing things that we regret. And many times we have wonderful reasons why, you know, we're tired of somebody talking about us. We're tired of somebody uh, saying negative things about us. We're tired. We have a lot of reasons why we engage in conflict and confrontation. We have a lot of reasons why we engage in arguments. Everybody's human. People get upset. But I think we can take responsibility for ourselves to the extent that we don't have to ruin our lives and ruin our career and sometimes die because of an argument. And I think that we have the ability to... Um, have some control over ourselves to the extent that we don't engage in conflict and confrontation in that manner or in a self-destructive manner. So one of the things I say is that people die every day because of arguments fueled by out of control emotions. The present rhythm, of my, uh, the present rhythm of our nation is conflict and confrontation. This is the norm and it's the precursor for inevitable tragedies. Most conflict begins with our inability to accept a perspective or a situation that we don't like, disagree with, or tugs at our emotions in a negative way. What that basically means is most arguments in conflict begin with our inability to accept reality and then deal with reality based on what it is as opposed to what we think it should be or what it, we think it's supposed to be. In each case, we can take responsibility for ourselves and accept differing perspectives without feeling the need um, you know, without feeling the need to attack a person verbally or physically. Our present reality, reality encourages us to blame others for making us feel a certain way, and then we can find plenty of support and friends and family to assist us in our blaming others. 
that's kind of like the norm. If we can find enough people to agree with the fact that we should be upset and we should take action, then we're okay in spite of what it could potentially cost us down the road. If we could um, take the time to take responsibility for ourselves and not blame others for making us feel a certain way or making us take certain actions, then we could make a major contribution to improving the quality of our lives. If we would like to improve the quality of who we are and improve the quality of our reality, we're going to have to eventually take full responsibility for ourselves and our emotions. We're, we're not going to be able to continue blaming people for making us feel a certain way. And it's really not necessary to call names or anything because all of us are aware of people, including ourselves, who blame others for making us feel a certain way. And, and, and therefore, we're justified in whatever actions we take, verbally, physically, or otherwise. Again, somewhere along the line, we're going to have to take responsibility for our emotions and stop blaming other people for making us feel a certain way. And this is not easy. I am by no means a master of conflict and confrontation. I am by no means claiming that I have it all figured out. I am by no means claiming that I don't have emotions. And I have enough people around me to remind me, oh, you're Mr. Communication. You're Mr. Harmonious and Productive Guy. Oh, you're Mr. Communication Man. You supposed to be Mr. Communication Man. You know, uh, anytime somebody says that to me, oh, I thought you supposed to be Mr. Communication Man. They're also saying to me that they believe that I am full of El Crapola. And they have no respect for my what I what I claim, because in their minds, I'm not matching up to what I claim. And I'd like to say that. This is a process for everyone involved. I can say that from 20 years ago until now, the progress I've made is pretty incredible. And it's a lifetime journey. So I can handle the people that want to remind me, oh, I thought you were supposed to be the Mr. Communication Man, the Mr. Conflict and Confrontation Guy, the Mr. Problem Solver. I can handle all that. And I would say to people who, or to anyone who has a desire to become a better person and has a desire to help people in any kind of way, don't be discouraged by people who try to kind of call you out on what you're trying to do, or how you're trying to improve, improve or how you're trying to contribute. Don't be discouraged by people who try to imply that you are full of L crapola because you aren't 100% master of what you're claiming to speak about. Nobody is a master of anything. This is according to me. This is not necessarily the truth. But nobody is a master of anything. You know, as long as there are next levels of understanding available in any subject matter on this planet, then we're still learning and growing and have the chance to uh, evolve and take whatever it is we're thinking to next levels of understanding. So, again, we have to be better with this conflict and confrontation. You know, uh, it's destroying us in general. It's destroying us as individuals. And it's preventing us from growing and evolving at the, at the rate we have the ability to. Um, of course, we are humans and we have emotions. But we have the ability to manage our emotions to some degree. And the 
more we work on that ability, the better we'll get at it. And that's just real. It's not, uh, um, it's not a, uh, It's not an overnight process and it's not easy, but it's possible. And as long as it's possible, then uh, it's something that we can do, something that can be done. And I'll continue to say I am out here working on a program. I'm interested in talking to high school students, college students, um, workers at businesses and corporations, um, doing workshops. All of these things as it relates to conflict and confrontation and how we can contribute to uh, limiting conflict and confrontation. And I have information that I would like to share that I believe can make a difference. So um, when I watch the television where I am here in Hartford, Connecticut, and I see people on TV saying something needs to be done about this violence and these kids and all of this kind of stuff. I say do what you've been doing and uh, whatever programs you come up with, that's fine. But at the end of the day, if you truly want real change, then the change has to, in some way, um, address the consciousness and mindset of the people. The change has to, in some way, address the consciousness and mindset of the people. And if the change does not address the consciousness and mindset, then the likelihood of true change taking place is, 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 is not real strong. Um, because, you know, I've said before, you can have midnight basketball programs, you could have after school programs, you can have video game tournaments, you can have all kinds of stuff. But at the end of the day, if we don't work on the consciousness, then true change is not going to take place because that's where it starts. It starts with the consciousness. It starts with our mindset. And until we address the consciousness, then what we see out here in general is going to be consistent. It's going to keep doing what it does. So I am Alfonso McGriff III. And this is Alfonso Speaks. And um, I appreciate you for tuning in. I love you and I always will. And I will never give up on my people. Ever. Thank you. Peace. I'm out.